Hey there everyone, thank you so much for being here, thank you so much for watching. Did you guys know that you can monitor and manage your Proxmox hosts from right inside Home Assistant? All it takes is a hex integration and a few steps on your Proxmox side and you will be able to pull in all the data from your hardware and also perform tasks like rebooting your hosts, shutting them down, restarting virtual machines, etc, etc. How cool is that? Just beware that if you're running Home Assistant as a virtual machine on a Proxmox host, you might get into a situation where you cut the branch you're sitting on. But we'll get there when we get there. For now, let's see how to pull this off. All right, guys, so we're getting started. And actually, this is the official GitHub page for the hex integration we are about to install. It includes also the steps we are about to take and of course I will add the link to this page in the description of this video. We'll need to get started on our Home Assistant instance. I have a demo instance I've already installed and we need to have hex already installed. If you don't know how to install hex there are plenty of guides out there. If you want me to create a sort of an up-to-date guide please let me know in a comment below and I will maybe create a video on it. We'll need to launch Hex, click on the three dots right here and select custom repositories because we'll need to add a, a link to our custom repositories and I'll paste the link right here and I'll select integration and click add. If you're wondering where did I get this link from, again from this official documentation if you scroll down a bit, here's the link. So let's go back to our Hex, now it's added. And I can close out of here and now I'll search for Proxmox and this is the integration. So let's click on it and click on download. Let's click on download. All right, great. Now we'll need to restart our Home Assistant instance. So let's go to system, restart Home Assistant. And actually for now, this is all we need to do on our Home Assistant side, of course we'll go back to Home Assistant when we we'll complete a few steps on Proxmox. So here's my Proxmox environment, again it's a demo kind of home lab environment but it's a valid one to work with. The first thing that we'll need to do is to create a user. Let's go ahead on the data center level, let's go ahead and create a user. Let's name this user Home Assistant. The RAM will be PEM, Linux PEM standard. Let's click on add. That's great. We'll also need to create a group. I already have a group created, but for demonstration purposes, let's go ahead and create one. Let's call this group also Home Assistant. That's great. Now let's go to permissions and we'll add the group that we've created. Now, you should also follow the least privilege kind of model if possible. And there's even documentation in the link of the, of the integration on what are the specific permissions you need in each case. And if you have the time, you can definitely go ahead and create custom permissions that will fit the least privilege model. For simplicity sake, I'm going to give the group admin privileges so select group permission i'm going to select everything i'm going to select the home assistant group and the role will be administrator and i'm and, and i'm selecting to propagate this all right great now we need to make sure that the user is a member of the group that we've created so let's go back to the user select home assistant and in group, select the Home Assistant group. That's great. Click on OK. And now we can see that the user Home Assistant is a member of the Home Assistant group. That's great. The next thing that we need to do is we need to create something that's called a token. We'll go back to our API tokens section right here. And we'll click on add to create a new token. Now there's 
some things that you might that you need to remember they're all listed in the doc documentation but for now let's select our user that will be the home assistant user token id let's call it home assistant as well uncheck the privilege separation that's very important at this point also get a notepad ready because you need to copy and paste stuff so first of all i would or i would copy the token id value because you will need it and then click on add this will be the secret again something that you will need but make sure to not share it with anyone because that's actually a login credential to your proxmox environment and in our case it's an admin privilege access to our proxmox environment so make sure you don't share it with anyone all right all right at this point we have everything we need you don't need to use this value anywhere so close out of here and now we'll need to go back to our home assistant at this point our home assistant instance was already restarted so let's click on settings devices and services add an integration search for proxmox integration right here that's great now provide the ip address or host name of your proxmox host the port will be by default 8006 i don't want to verify an ssl certificate because i don't have one username easy it will be home assistant that's the username that we've provided token name now don't be confused this is the value that we need right here token id that's the value paste it here the password or token value that's the secret so paste that here and assuming you have everything correct and no typos and everything if we we'll click on submit we will be able to get to the next stage i've seen a lot of people getting mixed up in and the forums are filled with questions about this about this topic mostly about the token name we don't need the the full value just the token id field let's click on submit and indeed we can advance to the next stage now we can select what do we want to expose into our home assistant so of course i'll select both of my hosts and my virtual machines and also all of my storage devices and i want to enable physical disk information of course and let's click on submit of course it's up to you to give the location of each entity i'm going to click on finish and now if we go to our proxmox integration right here we can see that we have the integration with our entities with our host entities virtual machine entities and disk entities now we are not done quite yet because there are a lot of uh, uh, let's say uh, data or sub entities that are disabled by default that we need to go ahead and enable for example let's select my proxmox host right here we can see that we have a lot of stats but for controls we have disabled entities reboot shutdown start all stop all wake on land each and every one of them according to your needs of course will need to go into the control itself click on the gear icon right here enable update click ok and repeat for every entity or virtual machine that you do want to control and the controls are disabled if i'm not mistaken it's the same on virtual machines let's select one again controls all of the entities are control entities are disabled for example reboot harbinate resume start stop so you can see that we we do have sort of a, a, a an upfront work that we need to do in order to get this up and running but once it's up and running we can completely control or at least controls have the controls we we have right here to do on your proxmox hosts for storages for example we have the stats another disabled one disk speed that's great we have a lot of stats that we are getting into our home assistant and for each and every one of these stats we can create for example an, uh, an automation to get notified about let's say for example if the health of this specific storage device changes from okay to something else i can create an automation to push to, to have a push notification sent to my phone 
It's not a really a monitoring solution, but it's almost as good as. And I really, I, I use this integration almost every day, but there's one thing that I want to take into account and remember, if you are running your, your, pro, your sorry, your home assistant has a virtual machine on a Proxmox host, let's say it's, it will be this one, and I now clicking on shutting down this host, my home assistant virtual machine will be shut down together with the host. So I have cut the branch I was sitting on. So be aware of that. Other than that, an, an excellent integration. It works flawlessly. It takes in almost every piece of data from your Proxmox environment and brings it into Home Assistant, which is exactly what we want. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, please give it a like and don't remember, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye everyone.